Feeling tired? Feeling like you can't go on? Like the weight of the world is on your shoulders and tired isn't a stop sign. It's not a red light telling you to quit. No, being tired is a sign that you or you just want to give up. That feeling, that exhaustion, that's not the end. That's just the beginning. Being pushing yourself. It's a sign that you are growing, that you are stretching beyond your comfort zone. And that, my friends, is where the magic happens. When does a muscle grow grow? When it's pushed to its limits, when it's tired, when it's strained. That's when it adapts, when it becomes stronger. And you, you are no different. When you are tired, that's when you have the opportunity to prove to yourself what you are really made of. That's when you have the chance to separate yourself from the pack. Because let me tell you, everyone gets tired. Everyone feels like giving up at some point. But it's those who push through, those who keep going when they're exhausted, those are the ones who achieve greatness. Now, I'm not saying it's easy. Far from it. Pushing through fatigue is one of the hardest things you can do. But it's also one of the most rewarding. Because when you do, when you keep going, even when every fiber of your being is screaming at you to stop, that's when you discover what you are truly capable of. You are capable of so much more than you think. We all are. We all have reservoirs of strength and resilience that we don't even know exist until we are pushed to our limits, until we are tired, until we are exhausted, until we think we can't go on. That's when we tap into those hidden reserves. That's when we surprise ourselves. Think about the great achievements in history. Do you think they were accomplished by people who were always fresh, always energized? No, they were accomplished by people who were tired, who were exhausted, but who refused to give up. They were accomplished by people who understood that being tired is an excuse to stop. It's a reason to keep going. Take Thomas Edison, for example. Do you think he was full of energy when he was working on the light bulb? Do you think he was fresh as a daisy after hundreds of failed attempts? No, he was tired, he was exhausted, but he kept going. And because he did, because he pushed through that fatigue, he changed the world. Or consider the Wright brothers. Do you think they were bursting with energy after countless failed attempts at flight? Of course not. They were tired, they were discouraged, but they didn't let that stop them. They used that fatigue as fuel. They used it as motivation to keep going, to keep trying, to keep pushing the boundaries of what was possible. And that's what I'm asking you to do. I'm asking you to use your fatigue as fuel, to use your exhaustion as motivation. Because when you are tired, that's when you have the opportunity to prove to yourself and to the world what you were really made of. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking, but I'm really tired, I'm really exhausted, I don't think I can go on, and to that I say, good. Good that you are tired. Good that you are exhausted. Because that means you are pushing yourself. That means you are growing. That means you are on the path to greatness. Comfort is the enemy of progress. When you are comfortable, when you are well rested, when everything is easy, that's when you are not growing. That's when you are stagnating. But when you are tired, when you are pushing yourself beyond your limits, that's when you are expanding your capabilities. That's when you are becoming more than you were yesterday. And isn't that what life is all about? Isn't it about becoming the best version of yourself? Isn't it about constantly pushing your boundaries, constantly expanding your horizons? Well, let me tell you, that doesn't happen when you are comfortable. That happens when you are tired. That happens when you are exhausted. That happens when you feel like you can't go on, but you do anyway. Now, I'm not saying you should never rest. Rest is important. Recovery is crucial, but there's a difference between resting to recharge and using tiredness as an excuse to give up. What I'm talking about is pushing through when it matters. It's about not letting fatigue be the reason you don't achieve your dreams. Your dreams don't care if, if you are tired. Your goals don't care if you're exhausted. The world doesn't stop because you need a nap. So why should you? Why should you let a little thing like fatigue stand between you and your aspirations? How many times have you given up on something because you were tired? How many opportunities have you missed because you decided to rest instead of push through? How many times have you used fatigue as an excuse to not do what you know you should be doing? Well, stops now. From this moment forward, you're going to use your tiredness as a signal to push harder. You are going to use your exhaustion as a sign that you are on the right track. You're going to embrace the fatigue. Welcome it, because you know that on the other side of that exhaustion is growth, is progress, is success. There's nothing quite like the feeling of pushing through when you thought you could not. 
There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of achieving something when every part of you wanted to give up. That feeling, that sense of accomplishment, it's addictive. And once you experience it, you will never want to let fatigue stop you again. The people who achieve greatness, the ones who make a real difference in this world, they are not the ones who are always fresh and energized. They are the ones who keep going when they are tired. They are the ones who push through when everyone else is giving up. They are the ones who understand that fatigue is not a stop sign, but a starting line. So the next time you feel tired, the next time you feel like you can't go on, I want you to remember this. That feeling of exhaustion is not a limit. It's not a boundary. It's an, it's an invitation to push harder, to dig deeper, to become more than you were before. Because that's what champions do. That's what leaders do. That's what world changers do. They don't let a little thing like tiredness stop them. They use it as motivation. They use it as fuel. They use it as a reason to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep striving for greatness. You have that same potential within you. You have the ability to push through, to persevere, to achieve things you never thought possible. But it all starts with a decision, a decision to not let fatigue be your master, a decision to keep going when everything in you wants to stop. Now, I know it's not easy. I know there will be times when you feel like you can't take another step, can't make another effort, can't push any harder. But in those moments, I want you to remember this. You are stronger than you think. You are more resilient than you know. You have reserves of energy and determination that you haven't even tapped into yet. And the only way to access those reserves, the only way to discover what you are truly capable of, is to push through when you are tired, is to keep going when you are exhausted, is to persevere when everyone else would understand if you gave up. Greatness doesn't come from comfort. Success doesn't come from taking it easy. Achievements don't come from resting when things get tough. No, all of those things come from pushing through. They come from persevering. They come from refusing to let a little thing like tiredness stand in the way of your dreams. So the next time you feel tired, I want you to smile. I want you to welcome that feeling because that feeling of exhaustion, that's not the end. That's just the beginning. That's your opportunity to prove to yourself and to the world what you're really made of. You are made of some pretty incredible stuff. You have within you the potential for greatness. You have within you the seeds of success. You have within you everything you need to achieve your wildest dreams. But to access all of that, to unleash your true potential, you need to be willing to push through when you are tired. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's not. Pushing through fatigue is one of the hardest things you can do, but it's also one of the most rewarding. Because when you do, when you keep going, when everyone else would understand if you stop, that's when you separate yourself from the pack. That's when you start to achieve things you never thought possible. Think about the great athletes of our time. Do you think they only train when they're feeling fresh and energized? Of course not. They train when they are tired. They push themselves when they are exhausted because they understand. That's where the real growth happens. That's where champions are made. Or consider the great entrepreneurs, the innovators who have changed our world. Do you think they only worked when they felt like it, when they were full of energy? No, they work through fatigue. They push through exhaustion because they knew that on the other side of that tiredness was success, was achievement, was the realization of their dreams. And you, you have that same potential within you. You have the ability to push through, to persevere, to achieve greatness. But it all starts with a decision, a decision to not let fatigue be your master, a decision to keep going when everything in you wants to stop. Now, I'm not saying you should never rest. Rest is important. Recovery is crucial. But there's a difference between strategic rest and using tiredness as an excuse. What I'm talking about is pushing through when it matters. It's about not letting fatigue be the reason you don't achieve your dreams. Your dreams don't care if you're tired. Your goals don't care if you're exhausted. The world doesn't stop because you need a nap. So why should, you, why should you let a little thing like fatigue stand between you and your aspirations? How many times have you given up on something because you were tired? How many opportunities have you missed because you decided to rest instead of push through? How many times have you used fatigue as an excuse to not do what you know you should be doing? Well, stops now. From this moment forward, you are going to use your tiredness as a signal to push harder. You are going to use your exhaustion as a sign that you are on the right track. You are going to embrace the fatigue, welcome it, because you know that on the other side of that exhaustion is growth, is progress, is success,
And let me tell you, there's nothing quite like the feeling of pushing through when you thought you could not. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of achieving something when every part of you wanted to give up. That feeling, that sense of accomplishment, it's addictive. And once you experience it, you will never want to let fatigue stop you again. The people who achieve greatness, the ones who make a real difference in this world, they are not the ones who are always fresh and energized. They are the ones who keep going when they are tired. They are the ones who push through when everyone else is giving up. They are the ones who understand that fatigue is not a stop sign, but a starting line. So the next time you feel tired, the next time you feel like you can't go on, I want you to remember this. That feeling of exhaustion is not a limit. It's not a boundary, it's an invitation. An invitation to push harder, to dig deeper, to become more than you were before. Because that's what champions do. That's what leaders do. That's what world changers do. They don't let a little thing like tiredness stop them. They use it as motivation. They use it as fuel. They use it as a reason to keep going, to keep pushing, to keep striving for greatness. And you, you have that same potential within you. You have the ability to push through, to persevere, to achieve things you never thought possible. But it all starts with a decision. A decision to not let fatigue be your master. A decision to keep going when everything in you wants to stop. Now, I know it's not easy. I know there will be times when you feel like you can't take another step, can't make another effort, can't push any harder. But in those moments, I want you to remember this. You are stronger than you think. You are more resilient than you know. You have reserves of energy and determination that you haven't even tapped into yet. And the only way to access those reserves, the only way to discover what you're truly capable of is to push through when you are tired, is to keep going when you are exhausted, is to persevere when everyone else would understand if you gave up. Greatness doesn't come from comfort. Success doesn't come from taking it easy. Achievements don't come from resting when things get tough. No, all of those things come from pushing through. They come from persevering. They come from refusing to let, let a little thing like tiredness stand in the way of your dreams. So the next time you feel tired, I want you to smile. I want you to welcome that feeling, because that feeling of exhaustion, that's not the end. That's just the beginning. That's your opportunity to prove to yourself and to the world what you were really made of. You are made of some pretty incredible stuff. You have within you the potential for greatness. You have within you the seeds of success. You have within you everything you need to achieve your wildest dreams. But to access all of that, to unleash your true potential, you need to be willing to push through when you are tired. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be easy. It's not. Pushing through fatigue is one of the hardest things you can do. But it's also one of the most rewarding. Because when you do, when you keep going, when everyone else would understand, if you stopped, that's when you separate yourself from the pack. That's when you start to achieve things you never thought possible. Think about the great inventors of our time. Do you think they only worked when they felt inspired, when they were full of energy? No. They worked through fatigue. They pushed through exhaustion. Because they knew that on the other side of that tiredness was innovation, was discovery, was the next big breakthrough. Or consider the great artists, the musicians, the writers who have touched our souls with their creations. Do you think they only created when they felt like it? When the muse was singing loudly in their ears? Of course not. They created through fatigue they push through exhaustion. Because they understood that sometimes the greatest inspirations come when we are tired, when we are pushed to our limits. And you, you have that same creative spark within you. You have the ability to push through, to persevere, to create something amazing. But it all starts with a decision, a decision to not let fatigue be your excuse. A decision to keep going when everything in you wants to stop. Now, I'm not saying you should never rest. Rest is important. Recovery is crucial. But there's a difference between strategic rest and using tiredness as um, um, of a crutch. What I'm talking about is pushing through when it matters. It's about not letting fatigue be the reason you don't achieve your dreams. Your dreams don't care if you're tired. Your goals don't care if you're exhausted. The world doesn't stop because you need a break. So why should, you, why should you let a little thing like fatigue stand between you and your aspirations? How many times have you put off working on your goals because you were tired? How many opportunities have you missed because you decided to rest instead of push through? How many times have you used fatigue as an excuse to not do what you know you should be doing? Stops now. From this moment forward, you are going to use your tiredness as a signal to push harder, 
You are going to use your exhaustion as a sign that you are on the right track. You are going to embrace the fatigue, welcome it, because you know that on the other side of that exhaustion is growth, is progress, is success. There's nothing quite like the feeling of pushing through when you thought you could not. There's nothing quite like the satisfaction of achieving something when every part of you wanted to give up. That feeling, that sense of accomplishment, it's addictive. And once you experience it, you will never want to let fatigue stop you again. The people who achieve greatness, the ones who make a real difference in this world, they are not the ones who are always fresh and energized. They are the ones who keep going when they are tired. They are the ones who push through when everyone else is giving up. They are the ones who understand that fatigue is not a stop sign, but a starting line. So the next time you feel tired, the next time you feel like you can't go on, that feeling of exhaustion is not your enemy, it's your ally. It's a sign that you are pushing your boundaries, that you are growing, that you are on the verge of a breakthrough. Embrace it, welcome it, use it as fuel to propel you forward. When fatigue sets in, that's when your true character emerges. It's easy to be motivated and energetic when everything is going smoothly, but it's in those moments of exhaustion when every fiber of your being is screaming for rest that you have the opportunity to prove your mettle. The last time you pushed through when you were tired, remember how it felt? That sense of accomplishment, that pride in knowing you didn't give up, that's the feeling we are after. That's the sensation that separates the achievers from the dreamers. Tiredness is not a stop sign. It's a checkpoint. It's your body and mind telling you that you are on the cusp of something great. It's in these moments of fatigue that we find our hidden reserves of strength are untapped wells of determination. Consider the marathon runner in the final miles of the race. Their legs are heavy, their lungs are burning. Every step is a battle against the desire to stop, but it's in those final miles when fatigue is at its peak that champions are made. It's not about who's the freshest at the end. It's about who can push through the exhaustion and cross that finish line. The same principle applies to every aspect of life, whether you are building a business, studying for an exam, or working on a personal project. It's the ability to push through fatigue that will set you apart. When you are tired, that's when your excuses are the loudest. That's when the voice in your head telling you to give up is at its most persuasive. But that's also when you have the greatest opportunity for growth. Every time you choose to push forward, instead of giving in to fatigue, you are building mental toughness. You are strengthening your willpower. You are proving to yourself that you are capable of more than you thought possible. Imagine if Thomas Edison had given up when he was tired. We might still be reading by candlelight. Imagine if the Wright brothers had decided to call it quits when fatigue set in. We might never have taken to the skies. The history of human progress is littered with stories of individuals who refuse to let tiredness be the end of their journey. So the next time fatigue hits, I want you to smile. I want you to welcome it like an old friend. Because that feeling of exhaustion is not the end of your efforts. It's the beginning of your transformation. Fatigue is like resistance in weight training. When you lift weights, it's the resistance that builds your muscles. Without that resistance, without that struggle, there would be no growth. In the same way, pushing through fatigue is what builds your mental and emotional muscles. It's what increases your capacity for hard work and perseverance. Now, I'm not advocating for you to run yourself into the ground. There's a difference between pushing through fatigue and ignoring your body's need for rest and recovery. The key is to recognize the difference between the voice of legitimate need and the voice of lazy excuse making. Learn to distinguish between the fatigue that signals it's time for a strategic rest and the fatigue that's merely a hurdle to be overcome. When you are working towards a goal, tiredness is inevitable. It's part of the process. The question is not whether you will get tired, but what you will do when that tiredness hits. Will you use it as an excuse to stop or will you use it as motivation to push harder? Remember, every great achievement in history was accomplished by someone who was tired at some point. Every breakthrough, every innovation, every record-breaking performance came at the cost of pushing through fatigue. The difference between those who achieve greatness and those who don't often comes down to this simple choice. What do you do when you are tired? The next time you feel that wave of fatigue washing over you, don't retreat. Don't use it as an excuse to stop. Instead, see it as a sign that you are on the right track. See it as an invitation to dig deeper, to push harder, to prove to yourself what you are really capable of. You are capable of so much more than you think. 
you have reservoirs of strength and determination that you haven't even tapped into yet. And the only way to access those reserves is to push through when you are tired. The times in your life when you have been most proud of yourself. Chances are, those moments came after periods of intense effort when you push through fatigue and an exhaustion to achieve something remarkable. That's not a coincidence. It's a pattern. It's a clue to unlocking your full potential. So embrace the fatigue. Welcome the tiredness. See it not as an obstacle, but as an opportunity. An opportunity to prove to yourself and to the world what you were really made of. An opportunity to separate yourself from the crowd, to rise above the ordinary, to achieve the extraordinary. Because in the end, it's not about who's the most talented or who had the best start in life or who has the most resources. It's about who's willing to push the hardest when the going gets tough. It's about who's willing to keep moving forward when everyone else is ready to call it quits. And that person can be you. You have within you everything you need to achieve your dreams. You have the strength, the determination, the resilience. All you need to do is tap into it and the key to unlocking all of that potential. It's pushing through when you are tired. So the next time fatigue sets in, the next time you feel like you can't take another step, I want you to remember this moment. Remember that fatigue is not your enemy. It's your ally. It's your opportunity. It's your invitation to greatness. Embrace it. Push through it and watch as you transform not just your circumstances, but yourself. Because that's what happens when you refuse to let tiredness be the end of your story. That's what happens when you choose to keep going, even when, especially when you are tired. Your future self is watching you right now. And that future self is cheering you on, urging you not to give up, reminding you that greatness is just on the other side of fatigue. So push through, embrace the tired, and let it fuel your journey to success. Remember, being tired is not a stop sign. It's a starting line, the starting line of your next great achievement. So lace up your shoes, take a deep breath, and get ready to run. Because your best self, your greatest achievements, your wildest dreams, they are all waiting for you on the other side of tired.